Hey there, you guys. I'm Tiger Ninja. I'm here with uh, Night Guy. Uh, I got the uh, Dark Templar Ensemble on here. So, this armor piece is uh, kind of like a collection of other uh, semi historically accurate or historically inspired armor that uh, Night Guy has over here and we've been doing uh, training with. So, I got these, uh, these chainmail mittens on. This is more of a more of a, a Dane kind of thing, but I think uh, I think most of the people in medieval times around that time, around the the Dark Ages, or the the Viking Age, or whenever you want you want to go with. Pretty have, sure Templars use them. Templars, yeah, Pretty Templars. Sure. What's uh, with Templars? So I think these. that the historically accurate for chainmail was normally a full shirt that was uh, mitten sewn into the sleeves, one full like. Uh, you know, from head to toe, leggings and everything. Um, is I'm pretty confident the, the full historical accurate setup for their chainmail. Um, we've tried to improvise here using just shirts and, and mittens and Yeah, points. I got uh, chainmail underneath here as well. Uh, I got this uh, this uh, surcoat under here. And underneath this uh, surcoat, I have a, uh, a Basically a motorcycle vest underneath, underneath here with some hard plastic in here. That's going to be our replacement for what would normally be like a coat of plates on the underneath here. And then un underneath the motorcycle gear is a is the chainmail here. And underneath that, we have the gambeson on here. And on, and on my head over here, I also have a arming cap. Or what was the proper term for this? Uh, I'm not arming cap. This. Uh, well, the neck piece is the adventil. I'm not sure the proper name for an arming cap. This adventil. I, I I wasn't sure if this was an ad. Uh, it's it's an arming cap with the adventil. And I have the, the the coif on top of here. Chainmail. Yeah, chainmail coif here. Got the of course classic black knight uh, skull face. No, well, we're not going to be training in that. But no, I'm not going to be training in that. It is an impact resistant. It's good for riding, but um, I wouldn't recommend too much training unless you're going really, really light. Yeah, yeah. Like no, that. no. You, you would need to be doing maybe, you know, plastic weapons. Nothing nothing metal. Nothing metal. All right. And speaking about metal, I have me a Templar sword here. It is a broad sword. It's historically inspired for the times the, the and should be the main weapon that the uh the templars would be using you know in their in their you know quest to take back the holy land crusade so we got this this is uh doled out uh which kind of steel this is is this uh, i believe 1060 high carbon 1060 high carbon your, your typical stage sword um rounded on the tip there if you can see that oh yep um you know a little cross guard um I, I like it. I think this would be a good representation of uh, I've used a this commoner sword, I guess, good. if there was such a thing. You can see the uh, proportions on the cross guard are a little off. One side's a little thicker than the other. One side's almost a little longer than the other. Um, but it does have the iconic cross on the pommel. You know, your uh, yep. definite uh, single-handed arming sword there. Um, the classic Mainly to cross. be used in conjunction with the shield. This handle's made of leather here. Got a little bit of stitching on the side. It's a real comfortable handle, even with these mittens on. This is a one-handed sword. That's what I think. You know, I, th I think I can get some one-and-a-half hand couple of, you know, moves with this. Maybe a little bit. Even with these on. Alrighty. Now it's time for us to get out there and train.